After Nicki Minaj attacked her on social media and released her Big Foot Hate song, Megan Thee Stallion responded with a clap back. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. For the past week or so, Megan Thee Stallion has been the most talked about topic in music. All things considered, it is fairly clear why. Right now, her new song Hiss is headed for a number one debut. Furthermore, she and Nicki Minaj have been deeply involved in a fight. On Twitter and Instagram, Nicki has not stopped criticizing her opponent, even though many believe she won the battle. Meg is more self-assured than ever, so in spite of everything, she has managed to maintain her composure. It's obvious that her recent approach is effective. Meg made the decision to celebrate her achievement with her followers on Station Head last night. Fans could listen in as Meg chatted with friends and other supporters in a setting reminiscent of Twitter spaces. All in all, it seemed like Meg was having a great time and it was a lot of fun. She actually couldn't resist laughing as she made fun of her opponent. Meg is aware that Nikki has been heavily into Rock Nation conspiracies. Meg was prompted to respond. Rock Nation. <laughs> so make me it. Meg found it hilarious, as seen by the lighthearted way it was said. She was laughing with her admirers. <laughs> oh my god. So oh not my and the video quickly gained popularity on social media. You can see how Meg's comedy thrilled the spectators. Ultimately, she has faced a great deal of criticism in the last several days. She is obviously still fighting and handling everything calmly, though. In addition, her song is performing incredibly well and probably will for a while. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. Meg dropped her new single on Friday, January 26th, after teasing the acerbic tune earlier this week. It seems to take some jabs at Nicki. The Houston native raps. Megan's law alludes to a federal statute that requires authorities to release information on registered sex offenders to the public, seemingly intended at Nicki Petty's husband. After Petty and Nicki moved to California in 2019 but failed to register as a sex offender there, they were sentenced to three years of probation and one year of house detention in 2022. His 1995 conviction for the first-degree attempted rape of a 16-year-old girl led to a four-year jail sentence, which is the reason he is classified as a sex offender. Nicki Minaj responded on Instagram Live shortly after Megan Thee Stallion released his, playing a clip of a new song that contains some explicit language directed at Tina Snow. <laughs> She raps in reference to the July 2020 shooting that left Megan with foot injuries and resulted in Tori Lanez's imprisonment. The bitch fell off. I said, Get up, are you good for? Nikki was giggling as she played the clip, which she repeated several times. Wait, I, I play it again, Jermaine. She also said during the broadcast, you have three Grammys and you have to learn how to rap on the beat and be comfortable in the music before doing an impression of Megan rapping in a thick southern drawl. Nikki shared a picture of her newly manicured foot on X, a social media platform that once existed, further mocking her rival's shooting wounds. Meg then seemed to reply, sharing a picture of herself giggling on her Instagram stories. Nikki Minaj's latest album, Pink Friday 2, seems to make jabs at Megan the Stallion and Lado. Young Money hitmaker made her eagerly anticipated fifth album out on Friday, December 8th, and it looks like it takes a few jabs at some of her female rap competitors. Nikki seems to be making fun of Megan the Stallion, with whom she is reported to have had a fall falling out, in the song FTCU, by making references to Tori Lanez and Iggy Azalea. Stay in your Tory Lane, bitch, I am not Iggy. She warns over speaker rattling. Trap-flavored production from ATL Jacob. A failed partnership between Megan and Iggy caused them some trouble in 2019, but the miscommunication was swiftly resolved. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.